So, smartphones, they're all pretty much alike at this point, right? Sort of, but not exactly. Phones are really different on the inside. Different operating systems give you different options for what you can do on your phone, like what kind of apps you can build and what those apps can do. The Android OS is a really open platform, which means that it's like a blank slate. You can do pretty much anything you want with Android. OK, great. So what does that have to do with NPR? Well, we already have an Android app. It was developed by an engineer at Google, Michael Frederick. He approached us and he said, hey, let's build something here. But he did it in his spare time just because he's a big fan of NPR. So wait a minute, you mean to tell me he just built this thing on his own? Yeah, he built the whole thing by himself. But it's open, so that means that NPR developers can jump in the mix. Other coders can contribute. It's really about collaboration, and that's what's really cool about it. We all make this better and better as we go forward. The point is, is if anybody has a good idea for this project, they should be allowed to contribute to it. And the code's open, so they can. And that's great if you're a geeky programmer, but what if I had a cool idea for the NPR app? Like, making it able to tap into a live station stream based on my location, but of course didn't know how to build it myself. What, what could I do then? Well, we need to hear from you. Just share your idea with us. This project's about engaging the community to build something for the community. Get that idea out there, and if it's good, then somebody's going to pick it up and run with it. So it's kind of like NPR's way of saying, hello world, to all things open source, right? Yes, exactly, and we're going to be listening. So find us on Twitter, at NPR Android, and share your ideas with us.